Hello everyone, Sandy here and happy Samhain! Um, it is um, Samhain today when I'm filming this and I'm hoping that I will, will be able to upload this tonight uh, still. However, um, we'll see how, it, how that goes. If I get some um, technical difficulties it might be tomorrow, but anyway... Uh, I'm wearing my little fun Samhain hat um, that I never have the guts to wear out in public. <laughs> I bought it on a whim uh, on the internet, of course, because I thought it was so cute. Um, but yeah, so I thought, why not throw it on now for this evening um, as I am filming this to talk to you guys. I might take it off in a bit if it's because it's it's quite a warm hat actually. <laughs> anyway, um <clears throat> excuse me. I have been poorly for most of October to be honest and that's why um I've only actually uploaded is it three videos this month? And um, yeah, I caught a cold and it completely took me out for a whole week. Then, for some reason, it kind of doubled back and, and, or maybe I got a second cold, I don't know, but I got sick again. And then this weekend, uh, suddenly um, I had a really painful chest and um, like, and throat and I just think maybe I developed some kind of some kind of uh, chest infection or something and um, yeah I've just mostly been sitting indoors playing Dreamlight Valley and watching Midsummer Murders and um, Medium <laughs> most of October to be honest and um, yeah <clears throat> It's not been much of a fun month and I haven't had much energy, um, so I'm going to take this off because I feel a little bit silly. <laughs> um, but yeah, uh, it hasn't been much, much action um, <laughs> this month um, and so I'm not quite sure what I'm going to talk about um, in this video, <laughs> to be honest, um, but I felt like I can't stop making these videos now, so I'm going to... I'm going to uh, give it a shot anyway. So, um, what has actually happened in October? Well, I went I went to my granddad's funeral and uh, saw my family and, you know, it was sad, nice at the same time. And, um, yeah, it was a nice memorial service as, as, and I uh, got to see a lot of uh, old you know, family members that I haven't seen in ages and such. So that was, that was fun as well as, you know, fun, you know what I mean. It wasn't fun, but it was nice to see them. Um, yeah. Then I decided to um, face one of my fears and I decided to start knitting a sweater and for those of you who follow me on Instagram, you you will have seen the progress from, you know, the first few rounds to uh, what it is right now. And I'll show you where I'm at right now. Um, <clears throat> so at the moment, oh, it's, <laughs> it's, it's looking like this. Um, hang on, let me turn it around for you. At the moment it looks like this um, and obviously it's going to continue growing longer and then I'm going to cast on these sleeves and knit them one at a time. But yeah, I'm doing it! I'm knitting a sweater and it's actually turning out okay. Um, I like my jumpers you know nice and big and oversized so it doesn't really matter if it becomes really big it's looking quite big to be honest and it stretches a bit but I'm, I'm sure it'll be fine 
I'm sure it will be fine. <laughs> we'll see. Um, so yeah, that's one thing I'm I'm doing um, that I'm really excited about actually, and and the reason I've gotten this oh hitting myself <laughs> with the needles. Um, the reason I've gotten this far, I think, is because I've been ill so much. I've just been sat here in the in my uh, on the sofa and um, knitting all day long while I've been off sick so yeah it takes such a long time to knit a sweater you guys <laughs> but I'm learning patience and um, I think it's quite fun actually to notice how how I've changed over the years with all of my handicrafting because I've been I've been knitting or I've been crocheting for years been knitting I've been trying to knit for years as well um, but I've never had the patience with long projects or projects that take a long time and it's just interesting to me how I now seem to suddenly have gained that um, patience that I need in order to pick up a project day in and day out until it's finished so yeah I am keen to finish my first sweater because I already have um, several other projects uh, in mind and I think it's going to be an amazing feeling wearing something that you've knitted yourself. I think that's going to be really fun. Another thing that I've been doing um, this month um, is that I've been learning more about Procreate and... and um, drawing on procreate and i don't know if this is going to work but i'm going to show you what i've been working on um so i've been doing some pet portraits um and 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 i've been do i did a pet portrait for my dad this is not going to work i'm going to have to do it picture in picture so i've been working on some um i did a, a portrait of my dad's dog um that he really loved and then I decided to continue and I did a two portraits for my sister of her cats. Uh, this is uh, Sniff um, that she has currently. This is from when uh, Sniff was a little uh, kitten. And then I did a picture of her, her cat, her first cat that has passed away now. And this is Tavi and um, he... He was a big old grumpy cat that she rescued from a shelter and I think that this portrait just really captures his essence <laughs> somehow. <laughs> and then I also did a portrait for Krista's cat, uh, of Krista's cat, uh, Stevie, Krista over at Crochet Witch Tarot. And this is Stevie and I really love how this one turned out. She feels very magical in this picture, I love it. And another thing that I've been doing is that I've been, you know, in order to relax in the evenings, I've been, um, in order to relax in the evenings, I've been uh, just recoloring the RWS, the Rider Waite Smith. Um, and um, this is the fall that I've recolored. And it's just really relaxing. And I really love putting all of my. Um, attention to the details in the cards and I've so far I've done all the way to the lovers and I'm currently working on the fall but so far I'm really liking the high priestess how she turned out uh, the empress I'm really liking as well and um, here's the emperor and I kind of like the the look I got on him as well. And the lovers, I'll show you as well. I still have a little bit of a tweaking got do to do with my with the lovers. I feel, but anyway, these are um, the cards that I've been working on so far, and um, and then I also did a portrait of a bear. That I'll show you here as well. So anyway, I've been having so much fun with Procreate and I am hoping to maybe 
you know, recolorize the whole RWS and print my own version of it. Uh, that would be really cool. And then I'm hoping to have enough energy and time to maybe make my own Oracle deck at some point. It's a bit of a dream, I know. It's, it feels really high lofted and impossible. But um, it is something that I'm really, really excited to get working on. Um, to one day be good enough to make a, you know, a um, tarot deck or an oracle deck from scratch. Um, I feel like I'm going to show you one thing that I've been working on and that's this uh, little, this little guy. Um, it's just a character sketch that I did, um, kind of, and it's not finished yet. But, but it's kind of like I want to do something very um, fey, folklory, little people type foresty thing because that's just that just feels like it's me. So um, yeah, I'm not sure yet how it's gonna go um, or if I'm gonna be able to do it. But if I start the journey, I will bring you along. Uh, this is just my. This is just my dreams and hopes and and uh, thoughts that I'm sharing with you here. So let me know what you think. Um, anyway, that's something that I've been pondering and doing um, this month as well. So um, another thing that happened this month, actually, and it feels like it was ages ago... But it was this month, um, because I checked when I posted the video about it, and that's the happy mail, a big lovely parcel that I got from my friends uh, Andy and Krista. And um, Krista is here on YouTube as well, and her channel is Crochet Witch Tarot. And uh, Andy is on Instagram as Metaphysics Made Easy, and she's got her own um, Etsy shop as well. And I'll link all of those down below um, because, yeah, uh, they sent me this most beautiful parcel. And I sent uh, an un I sorry, I filmed an unboxing. Um, I filmed an unboxing um, with the whole, of the whole parcel. Sorry, I'm being a bit distracted. I'm, I don't know where to put the hat. <laughs> and I don't want to just toss it on the floor. <laughs> so I'll just... I'll just put it back on, shall I? No. Yes. All right. So, <clears throat> no, it's covering my eyes and I'm just, no. <laughs> yeah. So, where was I? Ugh. It, it, you can tell that I haven't filmed in a long time because I'm all over the place. But anyway, um, yeah, they sent me this lovely parcel and it was filled with these lovely gifts and... Um, and that's a segue, actually, into my new decks for this month. I haven't purchased any decks this month, actually. Um, the one deck that came in that I actually bought myself, I actually bought back in August or July. Uh, it's, it's just taken me a while to get here, and I actually did... Um, do a walkthrough of that one already and that's the Stellas Tarot um, that I got from straight from the creator and the yes like I said the walkthrough of this and the first impressions is already filmed and up on my channel so I will link that down below as well but I will start with this one now because I mentioned it so Stellas Tarot is uh, a deck that has been considered um, out of print and I suppose it's out of print here <laughs> sorry guys I'm I clearly have a lot of crap on my desk right now one moment I dropped the lover's card um, so yeah <laughs> goodness me um, nine of, nine of Wands looks like this. Um, so basically, I'm not gonna. Sh I'm just gonna show a few few cards from this deck. It's a lovely little deck. Um, smaller than regular sized tarot. Um, 
has a bit of a funny system um, with um, Thoth um, may, uh, sorry, court cards um, and then some different type of like um, interpretation of some of the minors as well. So if you're interested in seeing that first impressions, it's down below. Um, but yeah, then we are getting into, I will show you the one Kickstarter that came in actually. Reaching behind you guys. <laughs> and that is Coastal Curiosities, second edition. Um, I've been waiting for this one for so long, but because I've been ill, I just haven't had the energy to film a walkthrough or even pull any cards from it. I'm feeling really silly. Um, but it's a beautiful, beautiful deck. I haven't even looked through it much yet uh, because I've been trying to save myself for the walkthrough. It's beautiful linen cardstock, very slippery. And um, yeah, I'm sure most of you have seen some of these cards before. Um, they are gorgeous. I love this collage style. I love the animals and the florals. And um, the keywords are quite interesting as well. So I'm really, really excited to get to know this deck and to start working with it. And to film a walkthrough, to be honest. Uh, I feel like Filming my first impressions walkthroughs have kind of become my way of um, first getting to know a deck. It's like I can't start working with it before I've done it, um, which is, I don't, I don't know, a bit silly maybe, but at the same time, at the same time, it's quite good, isn't it? Because um, then you get more videos. <laughs> um, so yeah. Ah, love it. So, super excited to finally have this. I've been wanting it ever since I missed out on the first uh, edition. And now we've got a second edition with a bigger guidebook. And very, very excited about that. So, <clears throat> I'm, I'm only quickly going to show you the decks that were in my gorgeous uh, Happy Mail parcel from Andy and Krista. Because, like I said, there's already an unboxing video uh, that I will link down below again. Um, but the first one I'm going to show you is the self-love tarot that Andy so generously gifted to me um, in exchange for... No, not in exchange. Yes, I, I can't remember anymore. Anyway, she gifted this to me and... <laughs> it's just... I, I didn't know that I needed this deck or wanted it I haven't been I haven't still haven't done a walkthrough of it I haven't worked with it I've pulled a couple of cards and it felt wrong because I did it without doing my walkthrough as I mentioned earlier but um yeah they're all basically the same I love the colors in this I love the way this is colored uh, I love the watercolor um and like I said, the colors are very, very bright and uh, but at the same time kind of earthy and muted. I don't know how it, how it's possible, but it is. And it's like all of the humans in, in this card are like this same character, this naked woman. Um, and then we have some animals and and insects. Look at this death card, you guys. I haven't actually seen this before. Um, so yeah, uh, just this naked woman kind of a bit, you know, kind of get taken aback a little bit when you first see her and you're like, why do you have your hoo-ha out? <laughs> it's just like all of these things. But when you do a reading with this deck, it's like... You know, you look at them and you like, you just get this warm, fussy feeling like you are perfect the way you are. It feels like every single card is telling me 
to not be self-conscious, to to just like be myself and it's kind of like being naked being naked to yourself within yourself like not physically naked not physically running around naked in your house or although you know if that's you go for it yay <laughs> you know but i'm just saying it's kind of like being emotionally naked if you understand what i mean um just exposing yourself to yourself <laughs> makes any sense I don't know I'm gonna try and have time to do a walkthrough of this and to work with it some more because I am really excited about this deck and what these naked ladies can teach me um about self-love which is the name of the tarot if I forgot to say that anyway the second deck I got um, was also gifted to me by Andy, and that's the Wandering Traveler. Um, and I had never, ever heard about this deck. Not once. Um, and I haven't worked with it yet. I don't know. I mean, obviously I'm going to try. But I don't know how how um, how I'm going to read this, to be honest. It's, it's a small... Bridge size, I think. Uh, deck or maybe poker size, I'm not sure. And it's very uh, different. It's kind of pippish. Kind of, you know, just scenery. And, um, I mean, it's pretty. Love the backs. But I'm not, I'm not sure if it's quite my style. But who am I to say before I've even tried it? So that was one of the decks that Andy very generously also gifted to me. Then... Um, doo -doo 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 -doo, which one should I take next? Yeah, then we also have another deck that Andy... But this one I traded with her for a deck bag. And that is the Mara Loon Tarot. Um, which I think she ordered from Make Playing Cards originally. These are the backs. And this is a deck that I have wanted to get for ages. Ever since I saw the first pictures of this on Facebook, I think. Um, it's a beautiful watercolour deck. Very serene, very calm, very earthy. Look at this empress, I love her. And this high priestess is like one of the best ones I think I've ever seen. I love her so much. And um, yeah, so it's, it's, I haven't, I still haven't worked with it. I haven't, I, I mean, cards on the table, quite literally. I haven't read almost any tarot this month. I've just been too ill. To be honest, kind of too sad. Um, there's been a lot going on and I've just needed a break from everything, you know. Just focusing on knitting and watching telly and dreaming myself away in Dreamlight Valley. Um, so yeah, but I'm, I'm really excited to start working with this deck. Um, it's so beautiful and... Um, has a really interesting smell, <laughs> but I kind of like it. So, and this is the version that came with, comes with these extra cards with the meanings that I have just separately with a bit of yarn around it so that I won't uh, mix them up with the rest of the cards. Right, the next one that I traded with, or actually bought secondhand from Andy, which was in the same parcel, is the Arthur Rackham Oracle. And um, this one is from Do Duck Soup, I believe. And yet again, I have not worked with this deck at all. But it is super interesting. I love Arthur Rackham's artwork. Um, the key words and the key phrases on these cards really interest me. Um, so I am 
keen to see how it works in a reading. Some of these images can be a bit dark and difficult to see what they are, but yeah, super pretty anyway. And I will do a full walkthrough of this as well, when I have the time. It feels like it feels like these days are just disappearing on me. <laughs> but yeah, that was the Arthur Rackham. And then um, Andy and Krista surprised me uh, as well by sending me this moonlit fey bag. They're so generous. And then in this moonlit fey bag... I have actually put a deck that they bought for me, um, which is the um, Golden Girls Tarot, because they um, found out how big of a Golden Girls fan I am. <laughs> and um, so they got me this deck and, you know... <clears throat> Full, full disclosure here, um, they bought me the deck fully thinking that it was um, the real deck, but when it arrived it was pretty clear that it was a counterfeit copy. Uh, they they uh, informed the seller and they got a refund, but they decided to send me the deck anyway because um, there's no point in throwing it away. Um, and at the same time, the real uh, original deck seems completely impossible to find, which is really sad. I had actually ordered this deck while it was still in print, but it never arrived. And um, Amazon just keeps sending me, um, just keeps sending me emails saying that they can't fulfill my order and I can't cancel it for some reason. Um, so. I've paid for, <laughs> I've paid for the real car, the, the real deck, um, but I never received it. So now I instead, and that kind of makes me feel like it's okay for me to use this fake one because I've already paid for the real one. So, you know, kind of cancels it out, I feel. Anyway. Um, and I just thought this bag was perfect for the golden girls <laughs> so and it's got this old pinkish like glitter fabric on the inside i love it so much and then my beautiful friend krista also made me this gorgeous um deck bag that she sent me in that same package and love it to bits it's my favorite it's so squishy and and lovely it's made from merino wool and um i love this well this yarn actually that she gets from winterberry's yarn i think and it is now housing my beloved um forest of enchantment tarot so that was all of my new decks actually no it wasn't I lie, I lie, there is one more. And that is also a gift that was sent to me very generously by the creator. Um, we have been connecting a little bit online and um, I won one of her giveaways and then I sent her, she bought one of my bags and I sent her a bag and a pair, a pair of earrings as a gift. Um, and didn't really expect this at all, um, but she, when I asked her about how I can uh, easily, or if I, I asked her about stockists in Europe for her deck, um, I should probably tell you what deck I'm talking about. I'm talking about the Gentle Tarot. Um, I already have the big one um but I, I reached out to her saying that I really want to buy the linen version um and but I had a hard time finding the linen version here in Europe 
So I was reaching out to her because on her website, it says that um, European customers should buy from from stockists it's better that way um and i reached out to her saying that i'd really really want the the linen version and i would love to be able i was wondering if i could buy one straight from her or if it's if she thinks it's okay for me to order from her website because she was going to stop selling it on her website i think i'm not 100 percent sure but anyway she just said oh no don't worry about it uh, I really want to gift you this deck. And I was like, no, 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 I'm, I want to pay. I want to support you. And she was like, nope, I want to send this to you uh, for free. So she sent me uh, her linen version of the Gentle Tarot as a gift. And I'm just... Oh. Her, her um, generosity just stuns me sometimes she's just such a beautiful soul mari uh, marisa tovar mari in the sky and i can't wait to get her a uh, big guidebook um i've been waiting for the big guidebook to be in stock here in europe and i think that's at least at least rather cool has it now maybe also kismet merlin but um and perhaps even indie indietarot.co. I can't remember now. I'm going to have to check. But anyway, I'm so happy to have this deck. Because I can actually riffle shuffle this deck, if you can believe it. Um, although, as Mari did um, warn me, you need to vary, you know, what way you... You riffle it so that it doesn't bend too much because it's a very thin, very bendy cardstock. Um, and also, I noticed it's a little bit sensitive um, in the edges, like it wants to take damage quite easily, uh, I feel. Um, but that's to be expected. It's a cheaper deck um, and it's linen cardstock. But it's, it's so pretty and I love my my first edition don't get me wrong I love it so much but this one I can actually hold you know comfortably in my hand and it's um it's going to become like my deck that I take with me places so I'm gonna make it a really nice bag and um it's gonna be my my travel gentle tarot I think um which I'm really excited about so um Right, so that was my new decks, uh, which took longer than I thought because I really didn't think I had gotten many decks this month. Um, but, you know, I think because I got that one big goodie, goodie box from Andy and Krista, I kind of put up my <laughs> average this month. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. Um, so, I thought I would talk a little bit about my tarot break uh, as well. I feel like... It's been very necessary for me to take this break because I've had a lot of things to contemplate and I wanted to do it without the influence of tarot. I don't know why. It's just whenever I took up a card, a deck of cards, I just felt all my energy just drain out of me. I just felt like, no, I can't sit here and analyze myself at the moment because I know that I'm struggling right now. And I know that no amount of wisdom will help me get through this. I just need to process it in my body. Like, it felt like I needed to just let it be and just check out for a moment. I needed to um, just not sit here and navel gaze for a little bit because that's how I use tarot. I don't really use tarot in order to try and predict any future or anything like that. I use tarot as a means to understand myself better and as a means to, um, to um, yeah, basically look at things from different perspectives and maybe and like analyze thoughts and patterns uh, within myself and things like that. And, and, journaling and stuff like that but I felt like I don't want to process things like that right now I want to 
eat ice cream and watch television and um, cry and, you know, be cozy and take walks and just, just be. And I think that was the right decision because now I feel more excited to actually pick up a deck of cards and get to know them, um, to continue working with the decks that I already have. I am thinking about VRs that I want to do. I want to do Living in Tarot. I want to do All About Tarot. And then there's this intriguing one that I've only heard whispers about that I haven't actually watched anything about yet. And that's like Dark Decks for Darker Days or something like that, that... Michelle, Don Michelle at Boho Tarot has done um, and I need to l check that video out. I just haven't had the time or the energy so far. Um, but I have a bunch of VRs that I want to do and, um, and I also want to do some more um, deep divey things like I'm aiming to finish my exploring the Enchanted Forest deep dive uh, series before this year is over. Uh, that is like one of my my main goals this um, this in November and December to finish that um, to finish that uh, series. And I have I think three or four four episodes to go so. That means at least uh, two episodes per month, and I think I can. I think I can manage that. Um, <clears throat> and then I want to start thinking about the next deep dive series. Uh, which one I should do? I've been thinking about uh, doing uh, the Gaian Tarot or the Green Witch Tarot, or. Maybe the Wildwood Tarot. Uh, there's so many that I want to deep dive and that I still haven't really gotten to know properly. Um, I might make a poll. If I do a poll, will you vote? <laughs> um, yeah, so I think I might do a poll and see what um, what's what with that and who, which deck people want me to deep dive in. To. And yeah, then I also want to do more of these talking videos. I want to talk about tarot and how I use it. Um, maybe do some reading videos. I mean, for myself, like where I explain how I read to myself, maybe. If that's anything anybody would be interested in. Um, like I said, I'm still learning. I will always be learning. That's why this channel is called Exploring Tarot, because I am an eternal eternal explorer um i don't feel like i'm ever going to be finished learning the tarot it's something that is going to be evolving you know for as long as i am myself evolving and learning new things there's going always going to be something new there um i feel and i think that this is something that i want to try and in you know, incorporate into my channel. So far, most of my videos are about unboxings and walkthroughs and these monthly wrap-up videos. Uh, and then, of course, my deep dive series. But I'm thinking I want to um, expand a little bit and talk a little bit more about... Uh, just have a, have little chats about things. Kind of vlog style, I suppose. Um where we just discuss things um, that I've been thinking about. So yeah, that's where I've been at. Anyway, I hope that you guys are doing well. I hope that you're having a lovely Samhain. Um, whatever you do to celebrate Samhain, I would love to know how you celebrate. I myself, I don't really have any set um things that I do I light a candle for my loved ones that have passed away and I think about them a little bit extra and um but so far I don't have any much of any more um things that I do uh, on Samhain so I would love to get some more 
inspiration uh, regarding that. Um, but anyway, thank you so much for watching and please take care of yourselves and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.